Okay, now we're actually going to make our game. So, what we need is to make a room. And to make a room, just go up to this box icon here that says create a room. A room is basically where you're going to be playing your game and whatnot. Now, I'm just going to change this grid to 32 by 32 because that's the size of the wall and it'll make it easier to put objects into this room. And to add an object, just go down to here, choose the object that you want. I'm going to choose the wall and click where you want to put it that's all just click and if you hold the mouse button you can choose the precise place where you want to put it then release when you got in the place that you want right click to delete something and hold shift and click at the same time to make a simultaneous thing like that. It also works for erasing. So, yep. And then, um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. But, now, it's important to get your wall to surround all exits in your room like at least for a game like this if it was a game where you were going to go to another room then you'd put like the exit sign thing but any pl but since this is soccer you don't want anything to exit the room now because this is soccer I'm going to make a goal post by putting two walls out there And then we'll put player one over here and player two directly across from player one. And now we can go to the background tab. By the way, this is the object tab if you were wondering. But background tab and you can choose an image if you want for your background. But then you'd have to create a background. I'll show you how to do that maybe later but I'm just going to choose a color just click on this and choose the color that you want I'll choose green because it's like they're playing in the soccer field and then I'll add the ball now before we go on I just have to change a few things here first at the start of the game, so just go to create an event, other, game start. You're going to get the ball to start moving in this direction at a speed of 10. Okay, and since the ball is going to be going really fast, we want these guys to be a bit faster. So I'm going to change their speed to 6. And make sure you get all the actions because you don't want him to be going at different speeds depending on which way he's moving but you could do that if you want but nah it doesn't really make much sense do the same thing for player two Actually, 6 and 10 are pretty fast. Okay, now that we're finished pretty much all of our programming, we can go to this green arrow and play our game. Yes, we finally get to play our game. And see, we can move around here. The mall's moving pretty fast, but so is the player.
Okay. Now, we have a bit of a game going there, but the thing is, it's not going to end, so we need some way for it to end. And what's the answer to that? We're going to make one last object, which is the goal line. Actually, I'm going to make two goal lines, so when player one wins, it'll say, player one won. And if player two wins, then it'll say, player two won. And you don't need to make another sprite for that. Just two objects. Make sure you get the sprite, though. And you don't need to set solid or anything, because you want stuff to go through it. Okay. Now, we just need to set the ball up. So when it collides with goal line 1, it'll display a message that says... Player 2, 1. And then it will end the game. Or if you want, you can get it to restart the game. But I kind of just want it to end the game. Because you can just play it again. Oh, wait. And then... Goal line two. Same thing, only player one wins. Player one won. And end the game. And if you want, you can add sounds to this by going to this thing up here that says create a sound. Then you find your sound as a file. I'll choose applause. Give it a name. You can test play it if you want. Change the volume and stuff then program it into your game so I'll set it so that when this happens it'll play the sound just choose my sound loop doesn't really matter Okay, same thing th for this. And you want to make sure that it's in this order because you want to play first and then show the message. When you press OK, it'll end the game. Just want to check something. You just gotta change that one thing. Just so they look the same. You don't want to find little flaws in someone's game. Then program them into your room. So, goal line two. Just put it all across here. Goal line one, across here. And now our game is pretty much complete. So let's test it for which will probably be the last time.
the game might freeze a bit too sometimes when it's bouncing off stuff and there our game is basically complete so now you have a game that you can play with your friends a nice game of soccer thanks for watching